Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. Two things I don't typically do. I don't showcase sets that have been out for quite a while. I think it's been at least a couple of months since this particular mix of Hot Wheels Entertainment hit stores and hobby dealers and everything else. That's number one. Number two, I don't typically do Hot Wheels Entertainment. I might I might pull out a couple of cars that I think are you know relevant to kind of what I collect and what you guys are interested in. Um, I'm not a big entertainment guy, so like the Jurassic World, Deadpool, Top Gun models is not my thing. So I typically don't do, I find other ways to do the entertainment models, but we're going to go Porsche today. We're going to be talking Porsche today, and I might as well just dedicate what I can to this set. So really quickly, while I'm talking, let's just get to it. Um, I'll show you, this is this, entertainment is now, entertainment's been around a long time, you know, it's uh, movie related, TV related, video game related, some other branding related stuff. It pretty much gives Hot Wheels an excuse to kind of, you know, put put cars they want to do in places maybe that, that don't fit, like, uh, you know, Fast and Furious is in the entertainment lane right now. Here's the Unimog from uh, Jurassic World, right? We'll let that just kind of run around for a little bit. I actually like this casting. This is a pretty nice version. Um, don't haven't seen the movie. I know they'd have a big thing with Mercedes. So there's always Mercedes Benz in the movie. And, uh, you know, if that brings us some cool Mercedes, I know with Matchbox it has, and, uh, we'll get that with Hot Wheels too. Mattel has the license Deadpool. This is a scooter from Deadpool. I think Deadpool is a great movie. The last couple, I hope there's a third one coming because I am entertained by it. Um, but I forget what the vehicles are, especially when they're this kind of stuff. But this is a, this is a, a scooter. So, uh, you guys that like scooters. Or Deadpool, you can say, there, Lambley showed a scooter, and he showed Deadpool, and let's see how long that stays balanced. Not very long. And then Top Gun. Top Gun's been a big deal. This is from the original movie, isn't it? The Grumman? Grumman F-14 Tom. I know F-14 Tomcat. I didn't know there was Grumman. Um, saw the the next Top Gun movie. Thought that was uh, thought that was a decent a decent flick, and I remember the original Top Gun. Thought that was a decent flick. And uh, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, oh, this one has a little stand, which they do. And I'm assuming the wings open. I remember I had a model of the Tomcat, like a full, not a full scale model, but a larger scale model. Yep, the wings open. And they have that kind of rotating thing, which is kind of cool. So uh, without making sounds, which I would as a kid, which would be planes flying very loudly, I will put this on the stand and uh, put that right there. That's the F-14. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But we're talking about the models that really kind of fit in our world. This is the Forza Horizon 5 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6, right? It's only the second version. So this is significant to me. The second version, this is the first version, came from uh, Modern Classics last year. And, I mean, just near-perfect casting of this particular model, this particular car, and I just figured we're going to see it constantly, constantly, constantly. It was a surprise. We haven't seen it in Team Transport. We haven't seen it in, uh, you know, a next mix of car culture. It's actually shown up here in the entertainment line in a decent version, but, you know, I'm looking forward to more, I don't know, we'll, we'll see it in different, I was just surprised that we haven't seen this in have because I just figure like this is just going to be such a, um, well, artwork's cool in the back too. Um, you know, the, the Evos, the Civics, these kind of models really become a... They're very popular, right? And um, this is nice. I mean, the wheels are okay. You know, sometimes they, they work. We'll uh, see that in Boulevard when I showcase that, that. The wheels work in certain places. This one looks fine. I don't know why they chose the wheels they did. Deco's fine. You know, it's maybe, maybe it, it is a replica of one of the cars in Forza. And so if that's significant, then that's cool. But I, I mean, this is a casting that I will collect no matter what. And so this version, this version's nice. I shouldn't complain. If this came in car culture like this, I probably wouldn't be talking like this. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Anyway, that is the, uh, the Evo, and I like it. I actually do like it. So I don't know why I'm saying what I'm saying. Uh, but this is the one that was significant to me. The Cyberpunk, and I know that's a video game, right? It wasn't Keanu Reeves in it. Wasn't it kind of considered a failure? I don't know. Uh, I just read some headlines, but I don't, uh, I'm not a video game guy, so I'm not entirely sure, but I remember it wasn't as popular as people thought, or it wasn't as cool as people thought, or something like that, and, and it was a big anticipated sequel. Anyway, you guys can maybe leave comments on that. Porsche 911 Turbo 930. I thought this was just a premium version of, was it the 934 or 964? I can't remember, and I didn't really think anything of it until I realized, oh, it is a new casting, and I was like, dang, I need to make sure I have that, and so... 
I thought in order to make this more interesting, let's just go all things Porsche. I, I didn't pull out every Porsche by any means. I didn't pull out every premium Porsche by every means, but I did pull out, I think the Porsches that, uh, the castings that have been premium that are 911 street cars. I should have been more specific about that. And, um, and from car culture. And I thought maybe leading up, we can see what the collection would be if you were trying to do premium 911s from the last few years. And we start here. Um, I have to always make sure this is the 964 Carrera 2. And this one, this is this is my favorite version of this casting. I'm, that's what I'm pulling out. It's my favorite versions of these particular premium castings. But this particular one was the first mix of car culture, our first mix of modern classics in car culture. It actually debuted in a Magnus Walker deco, which was cool. Um, I think it was, yeah, in gray. But this version, I just, I think this is kind of one of the more underrated car culture cars. It was during the era when they weren't doing full decos on these. But it got headlights. The taillights are kind of built into it. Uh, it got the uh, aero-style turbofan wheels, and then it got, not turbofan, but the aero-style wheels, and then it got the uh, Porsche logo on the side. It's just super clean. It's super cool. Love the wheels mixed with the body. This is an underrated version of the uh, of uh, this particular casting, and I think it's just an underrated car culture in general. This one actually was an early, I think also a Magnus Walker. It was in basic. This is the GT2, and they don't put years on this one, so this is just the one that was released in 2010, Porsche 911 GT3, I'm sorry, RS. Um, and uh, we've seen it We've seen it hit uh, entertainment in a Forza Deco. Remember, it was raw. And then we've seen it, I think, in car culture at least one other time when it debuted in Magnus Walker. And now we saw this in the recent Deutschland design, and I really love the color, really love the wheels. And this one has proven to be a very popular model from that mix. Seems to be the first one to go. So that was one that I thought, uh, that's a 911 that you can be collecting that's in premium. Another one that's only shown up once, but we've seen it in lots of different places, is another GT3 RS. And this one was in Entertainment Forza as well. Casting that uh, one day I'm going to do a, a, a showcase on castings that I didn't like when they first debuted and they grew on me. There's quite a few of them and I thought that might be a cool showcase. I'll have to do my research, kind of think, oops, kind of think through, uh, dropped it while this was on the turntable, think through um, what some of those are. But this is definitely one of them. And this premium version, when it gets the complete treatment, right, the headlights, taillights, well, the headlights already are part of the body. Um, it looks really cool and I love it in this color with the GT3 RS Deco. Forza is not too, it doesn't take away too much from it. And then uh, the 10 spokes look really cool. So that's another casting that you definitely want to collect. And then the last one, before I get to the other 930s, is this one. And I think we've only seen it once. This one started as a basic, then moved to premium as well, I think. I think. But it's not the same as this casting. I think originally you can think it might. But uh, this is the uh, 71 Porsche 911, right? Debuted as a basic. Now it's a premium. Also Magnus Walker. And I think this is the only version. And it's, you know, based on Magnus Walker's actual car. And I think it debuted in basic as a Magnus Walker car as well. So one, two, three, four 911s. All right, I'm breaking in for a second. Because as I was doing this Porsche show showcase, before I get to the 930, I realized after the fact that I had not mentioned this one and I can't go through premium Porsches without the 993. I have to mention the 993. This really is the godfather of premium Porsches from Boulevard. The last mix that one that very hard to find final mix of Boulevard in the 2013. The 993 was developed for that designed by Juno Mai. I remember uh, Hot Wheels van Steve Vandervate actually unveiled this one in these colors with the cool gold wheels. This is still a holy grail for many, many collectors, and I totally forgot to mention it. So everything I've mentioned, all those are cool premium Porsches, but here's your, here's your granddaddy, your godfather, whatever you want to call it. This is the king of premium Porsches. Now back to what I'm talking about. And then we have this 911 Turbo 930, and some of you might be saying, hey, John, there's another 930, and of course, I remember. I wasn't gonna forget. But it is quite different. So this is the RWB. We haven't seen it after it debuted in uh, silhouettes in car culture. This is the Stella Artois tribute. It's not going to say Stella Artois on the, uh, on the body for obvious reasons. That's a beer and this is a toy car. Um, but, uh, but this was the, the uh, RWB version. Then we saw it released a second time in Team Transport. 
in purple. I can't remember what this is based on the year it is, or the uh, the name of the model, but the purple. I've seen this one. I actually saw it at SEMA um, with the really cool detailing on the front and on the back. Just a beautiful, beautiful from Team Transport. So we have these two 930s, and then the king of all Porsches, in my view. Well, that's arguable, but one of the best Porsches is the is the RLC version of the RWB Porsche. You went back to the Stella Artois, Artois Tribute. Wheels are perfect, and this one has the opening, if I can do this, the opening doors on both sides. Brendan Viteski did this one with the uh, Juno Mai design. Has the detailing in the front, and then, of course, the open trunk as well to show the engine. Just insane, insane casting. All right, those are the 930s. We might as well do some comparison, right? Porsche 911, this is the more standard turbo, right? This one is the one that... Uh, the Matchbox, not the patch, I think it was called the Porsche 911 Turbo or the Porsche Turbo. One of the most common Matchbox models released, you know, based on a very common silhouette with the big wing in the back. Um, the whale tail Porsche. This is this. And it's kind of hidden behind this cyber cyberpunk deco. Now let's do a compare and contrast real quickly. You can see like, this is what the 930 originally was and this is what the rwb made it become you know all of the uh, additional pieces and everything some things removed some things added it does seem like these castings have some i mean because they're based on the same car i don't know if hot wheels use the same files um, to maybe start with this uh, where they would go to the original 930 but uh, there are some pretty close comparisons there the size wise they look about exact which is nice if you're going to put them together but let's put this on the turntable the deco's fine it's pretty clean but it's obviously based on the cyberpunk car which i'm not familiar with because i don't play the video game the wheels are okay but what i'm really excited about is having this 930 and i hope i hope i hope that pretty soon we're going to see a very standard red 930 911 whale tail with that black trim, you know what I'm talking about. You think Porsche, you think that. Maybe they can put those modern Fuchs on it um, that they have not used in a long time. wonder if that's a licensing thing. I don't know what else to say, but I'm looking at this casting, completely ignoring the deco, and going, hey, if it's Cyberpunk license got us this, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen to it very very soon you guys tell me what you think this is a cool casting with where i'm far more excited about its future than i am about its present and uh we can just sit back and dream this is a nice mix really happy to have another evo and uh and this porsche casting thanks everybody bye